Well, let's get into the ring announcer, Eddie Pleck, for the official decision and the time on that ball. The time, one minute and 35 seconds, with a back flip and a body press, the winner of the second fall, Bobo Brazil. Well, now in this match between Brazil and Sholak, Sholak has a fall and Brazil has a fall. And it is best two out of three, so this should be something. As they both battle to get the deciding fall in this match. This also, I believe, is a curfew time limit. Wherever you're viewing the show tonight in Milwaukee, in Puerto Rico, in good old San Juan, where we were a year or two ago with the White Sox, played the Phillies. Down there in Atlanta, where they've got a lot of wrestling fans. Up in Buffalo, over in St. Louis, a great sports town. We hope you're enjoying the show. Here they go. It's a fall of peace. Brazil and Sholak. A wrist lock and a takedown here by Sholak. Big Moose trying to pressure that left arm of Bobo Brazil. Brazil gets his shoulders near the mat, and the referee got to a one count. Sholak working for the deciding fall. This is the best two out of three falls. They each have a fall. Sholak with his legs wrapped around Brazil. And Sholak is warned for that hair pulling and pulling his head back. There you get a good view of that ear guard that he wears on the right side and of course it is the same on the left side and a little hair pulling again when the referee wasn't looking and the moose was nailed and the referee again uh, warns him talk about a lot of beef there's over 600 pounds there in the center of the ring Sholak with a body scissor. Wrapped right around Brazil's midsection. And he's trying to apply the pressure, as you can see. They're both working toward the winning fall in this match. Well, that hurts. his hair and pulls his head down and the referee warns the moose again. Got to a two count. Again, the squeeze is on. That's the moose with a bit of a stomp. Now Brazil takes him out of that corner with a beal. Brazil is a powerful, powerful man. His 
working on the moose. That's a type of side headlock. Or a face lock, I believe you'd call it. But the referee is watching that he doesn't slip that arm down to the throat and a choke. Referee asks Sholak, does he want to continue? And Bobo Brazil applying a lot of pressure here. Now Sholak got his leg draped over the rope and the referee stops it. The Moose is complaining that uh, that Brazil was choking him. If you're a lip reader, you probably could read that. Now a test of strength. There's a weird yell from Moose Sholak. Bobo Brazil. Each with a fall. Both trying for the deciding fall in this match on wrestling champions from Chicago. And Bobo trying to set it up here for the... Looks like he's trying to set it up for maybe the his famed Coco Bump. Got away with a couple of judo chops. And now the Moose is throwing rights and lefts over there in the corner. Down, but he's draped over the ropes here, and the referee will step in and separate them. Now it's Sholak going to work on Brazil's left leg. Well, this crowd here tonight at Chicago has seen a lot of excitement. Brazil is on the bottom here, but he was actually applying the hole. Three minutes. Very few time limit, three minutes. Show like with the press trying for the pin, trying to get Brazil's shoulders to the mat. One, two. Looks like a double head scissor. head scissors. Sherlock trying to twist over on top and to try to get Brazil shoulders to the mat but uh, Brazil gets loose. And it's Sherlock applying the Coco Bump. Well, Sherlock Sherlock stealing Brazil's stuff here with that Coco Bump. comes over again and another one and another as Sholak turns the tables on Bobo Brazil six or seven Coco Bumps each is one of fall is running out. One minute, one minute to go, one minute. And a judo chop by Brazil and another. Those are painful and really hurt across the throat. Can't be too much time left. Brazil applying. 
falls back into the corner. And another applied by Bobo Brazil. But Moose retaliates, comes back. Time now is a factor, and another Copa bump. And Moose supplies one. Only seconds are left in this match. So time is running out on Sholak and Brazil, on wrestling champions here at Chicago. And Brazil with another Coco bump. Sends Sholak staggering. And that's it. That's it. Now let's go to the ring announcer, Eddie Pleck. The curfew time has expired. Each wrestler has the fall. It's a draw. There you have it, fans. The winner, the decision in that match was no decision. It's a draw. It's a draw. Well, here is the Golden Moose Sholak, who just uh, had a draw in a great match with Bobo Brazil. And the Moose surprised everybody tonight by using the Coco Bump about eight or ten times. Moose, I think you caught uh, Brazil by surprise. I certainly did. I want you to make sure that you announce to the people that the world's champion of wrestling was here tonight with you. I am the greatest champion living today, and I want you to make sure to relay that to the people. Listen, I had a match with Bobo Brazil tonight. I need more time. I'm a big man. I have to wear another big man down. He's a good, strong man. He uses cocoa butts, and I relayed him with my cocoa butt. And I think I was going to get him in time. I had a big surprise for him, but it just didn't come off because I didn't have enough time tonight. Moose had looked tonight during the match like he was trying to get that uh, head guard or rear guard yeah, of yours off. To, he was trying to get it off, but uh, unsportsmanlike like he is, he was trying to get this off. This is. A wrestling helmet, an ear protective. I use this to protect my ears so I don't get cauliflower ears. And I guess he wanted to give me some cauliflower ears, but I surprised him. Well, are you about set? Would you like a rematch with him? Oh, yes, definitely. Listen, Bob, uh, I am the boss of this business today. And if there's any threat, I eliminate him. And Bobo is in Brazil. If he becomes a threat, I shall eliminate him. But I need more time. I need an hour match. Moose, lots of luck to you. Okay, Bob, thank you. That was the Golden Moose Sholak, one of the most colorful wrestlers in the game to today. And tonight, by the way, he took on Bobro Brazil, a very, very tough customer. And as you saw, this match ended in a draw. So the famed Coco Bump was used tonight, not only but by Brazil, but by his opponent, the Golden Moose Sholak. Well, that's it for now, fans. This is Bob Elson saying so long until next week on Wrestling Champions, produced by Sports Publicity Institute.